Hi, welcome to this short video about my thesis project. The purpose of this project was to develop a flight controller for a quadcopter named the AirQuad. Keep in mind that this is just a concept model and changes will apply during further development. For more information about this project, the used materials and the overall progress, I refer to the paper of this thesis. So in order not to prolong this introduction, let me give you a small model tour. All the electronics are powered by this power board attached on the side. To control the quadcopter we used a FR Sky transmitter with the corresponding FR Sky receiver connected to the controller using the SBUS protocol. During this project many different controllers and shields were used. Primarily the Raspberry Pi had to be the central processing unit for this quadcopter and it soon became apparent that it was not suitable for this purpose, so in the future it will become a data logger, visual flight analyzer and a flight planner. On top of the Raspberry Pi the other fruit shield is used that creates pulse width modulation signals for the electronic speed controllers and the servos to read the attitude of the quadcopter, an inertial measurement unit board was needed. A premium class Ozmaker Berry IMU has been chosen for this purpose with a gyroscope, accelerometer, barometer, global positioning system and other sensors on board, which can be later used for autonomous flights. The main processing components are located on the top of this deck. Currently, an Arduino Nano has been used to perform the calculations and be the central processing unit for the quadcopter. Two logic level shifters has been used to connect the Arduino with the other boards using UART, I2C and or SPI protocols. The custom created prototype board consists of three debug pins which are very handy for serial monitoring and data readout, three colored LEDs indicating the different voltage supplies a white LED indicating the status of the flight controller, as the signal inverter, and finally a debug and safety switch. An additional safety system which may be further developed and expanded has been mounted on the quadcopter. By combining whole sensors with custom designed magnet plates for the used engines, we can independently and accurately read the engine rotations per minute. After many fails, late working hours, a bunch of edit codes and miserable test results, the AirQuad flight controller has finally been made. Of course, before any testing, especially with mounted propellers, always keep safety in the first place. After powering up the quadcopter, the blinking status LED will indicate that the gyroscope is being calibrated. You should not touch the structure at this moment. A successful startup procedure will be indicated by a turned off LED. If any error occurs, the LED will turn on. To start the engines, a switch must be used, placed on the left upper side of the transmitter. As real flight tests are currently not possible, I will try to show the stabilizing effects by letting you hear what is happening. As it is not easy to show stabilization by holding a quadcopter in my hands, I will push it into a different attitude and let it stabilize itself. The PID settings are currently set to soft, thus the reaction will be slower, but it certainly works. This is pitch stabilization about the Y axis. This is roll stabilization about the x-axis. This is your stabilization about the z-axis. There is still one more thing that I would like to mention. Additionally, to a stable quadcopter, you might want to have full control without any help from the IMU. This is possible by switching the level switch located on the right side of the transmitter's front panel. Thank you for your attention and especially to those who share their knowledge on the internet and help students like me to understand, play and further develop in the aviation industry. Have a nice day and stay safe!